to all those who devoted their lives to aviation. The Wings of Russia Studio presents Wings of Russia documentary. The come of helicopters could do their job from ship decks in any part of the ocean. However, for the coast area protection, another helicopter was required. It was supposed to be land-based. The successful MI-8 was taken as a prototype. The bottom of the fuselage was turned into a boat. However, TV-2117 engines did not provide enough power-to-weight ratio. Situation changed only in 1965 when the Zotov's Design Bureau offered a new, more powerful TV-3117 engine. Now the helicopter combined both the detecting and striking functions. It was identified as MI-14. Fuel reserve allowed this machine to barrage for three hours. For water landing, the landing gear was made retractable. Water landing allowed to perform detection longer than at hovering. There was a bomb room in the fuselage bottom. To fight submarines, helicopter carried bombs and torpedoes. Its principal difference was that it could carry a one kiloton scalp miner nuclear bomb. Helicopter had three main modifications, anti-submarine, minesweeper, and rescue. Amphibious qualities of MI-14 make it suitable for the use for peaceful purposes, in particular as an efficient sea rescue facility. With the help of an external hoist and various other equipment, victims could be fished out of water and taken on board. Pilots liked this machine calling it the liner. And it did comply with such definition. It had minor vibration, long flight, and impressive dimensions. Technicians, on the contrary, had to clean and dry the helicopter after each flight to avoid corrosion. <laughs> 